Hi, I'm Eric Tomato. And I'm the Chosen One! <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of Mind Breakers. You and my brother, Merrick. So, let me just bring up... <laughs> Bam! Yes. And got... now, let us spin the wheel. We got the wheelie wheel. Let's, let's see what shows up on the wheelie wheel. What do you think it is? Place your bets, folks! Oh. oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're watching... Terror Vision. Terror Vision. I, you've told me a lot about this. I cannot wait to watch this. Let me this. just find the description of Terror Vision. This is going to be really cool. It's going to be fun. How many times have you watched Terror Vision? I haven't. You've never watched it? No. Awesome. You've told me a little bit about it, like the uh, the synopsis, I think, before. Family. Uh, yeah, it's right over there. Look. Up, 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 up. There we go. There. A family's new satellite TV system starts receiving signals from another planet, and soon it becomes a passageway to an alien world. <laughs> this sounds so good. <laughs> I think you... Are you excited, folks? Because I am. You say good, but I think you mean the other thing. <laughs> I think I think I mean what I say I mean. <laughs> are you sure you mean you know what you mean, though? Oh, I think this is going to be a good fucking time, Mary. <laughs> hey, I don't know about you, my friend, but I think I'm going to have a good fucking time watching this. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Intellectual decay! Turn it off and watch your brain cells! The Puttermans are just a typical American family. The only thing they're missing is a pet. But have we got a surprise for them? You see, Stanley Putterman's new satellite TV has just gone on the blink. And it's drawn in a creature from outer space. Like all new pets, this one's causing a little trouble around the house. And he's eating the Puttermans out of house and home. In fact, it seems like this creature will eat anything. Well, just about. Anything. She looked right at my studs and cooled out. This dude's into metal! Now it's up to the kids to break the creature of its bad habits. I said shut up! But he's not responding well to discipline. Earth children, please. I mean you no harm. I am Pluthar, here to save you. The Padamans finally got themselves a pet, but they never even had a chance to give it a name. Terror Vision, from Empire Pictures. I want to paint a picture for you guys. Just all of you guys that are listening, I want to pick, paint a picture for you guys. There's about seven cars in the driveway. You don't know what the fuck happened in this house. But you show up in a car. You know, your driver's driving you. You're a woman in this case. One who wears, on TV, a headdress that makes you look like Medusa. And you host a horror TV show. Just for people to watch, because this is the 80s at this point. You get to this house, roll up. There's the cop sire, like the cop's lights are still on, everything. There's a cop car there. Uh, there's one car that probably looks like a heavy metal singer uses it. You walk through the door, there's green slime on the floor, and there's a, there's a revolver. Probably a policeman's gun. You think to yourself, oh, someone probably puked on the floor. I was called over here by a small child who not only called into the studio and shouldn't be watching this show, says that there was a monster in this house. I came over here. His sister told me that there was a party, apparently. That's fine. Let's go inside now. Okay. His sister and this little kid have guns. There is a monster in the living room. An alien man in a space suit. Your first instinct is to kill the alien man. A pleasant evening. A pleasant evening indeed, guys. <laughs> In the Twilight Zone. In the Twilight Zone. <laughs> okay, okay. This <laughs> movie, that, is, that is, we'll get back to that little picture in a minute. Picture, if you will. <laughs> picture, if you traveling will. Traveling in another dimension. Yes. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. 
<laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. This Your destination? The Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone. Now, this movie, I really like. I really like this movie. This was awesome. This was amazing. This was on level of spookies for me. This was Yay. great. Oh, man. I get it. So, okay, let's start off by talking, like, this is an MGM picture. Of course. They give I, us so much to talk about. Really? They really do. Without them, we might not even have a show. Probably not. <laughs> so, Terrorvision. The music for this was really cool. We begin in space. space. Specifically on the planet Pluton. Pluton. The we're planet Pluton. We're saying that right. It's not, we're not mixing up Pluto. It's actually called Pluton. It is literally called Pluton. Pluton. And this is a waste distribution... No, uh, Waste sanitation. Sanitation station. Or like sanitation... Sanit- sanitation station. That sounds like a metal sanitation song. Sanitation station. <laughs> yes. And it's out in space on this planet called Pluton. Pluton. On this planet, apparently. Total Plutonic reversal. It's sort of... Sort of that, actually, because they what they do on this planet, in this waste disposal center... Is beam garbage to the ends of the universe. Beam garbage out, basically, to into... Uh, you bounce around to settle as, like, energy beams bouncing through space. Yeah, but eventually it would basically burn out. Yeah. But the idea But this is time, the, it bounces off several planets and is yeah. picked up by a satellite on Earth. Yeah, and... These things are basically garbage. Yes. Space garbage. And they get beamed out through energy beams. So... They get converted into energy beams. So you're with us so far. Yeah. We meet the most (laughs) insane 80s family. The the best 80s family. The most stereotypical, like, fucking... The father of which is trying... Has built a do-it-yourself satellite dish. No, he didn't buy it. uh, No, he built it. He built a do-it-yourself satellite dish. You sure? Yeah. Because I think there was... No, it said that he bought it. It's just called the Do-It-Yourself 100. It, yeah, but he bought it. They were talking about it. It was huh. like one of the most high-end satellites out there on the market. And he... Yeah, he bought it to build it. It's like an Ikea satellite dish. Uh, yeah, but the guy that came with him basically was like, oh, okay. That was a repairman. To, yeah, like, I'm just a repairman. But he actually ended up informing the government about it and stuff afterwards. Did so he? he was... Yeah, yeah. He was the one that basically... Uh, yeah, he was the one talking to his superiors and stuff, and like, if a kid calls about uh, about this uh, the satellite dish or anything, like, yeah, he he was there basically as a representative of the satellite. I dish. don't remember that scene happening. It was at the beginning, anyways. Hmm. So one of us, one of us was under the effect of something <laughs> for that. <laughs> one of us wasn't paying attention, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so. Okay, so he ends up, like, yeah, setting up the satellite. But then we have to introduce the family. The family, yes. There's a dorky dad. The dad, who is a swinger, and the mom, who is also a swinger. Who starts it out in yoga, in a aerobic suit. Yeah, first thing you see in this movie, aside from the alien spaceship, is her in an aerobics outfit, in front of a TV, like, just stretching out and stuff. Like, in high heels. For some reason, she does this Mm. in high heels. Don't know why. There's the sister... Who is... She's into punk rock, probably. Yeah, yeah but that, I don't see that in her yeah. design. She looks like a fucking scene girl. She's... She's she's, she's on... got the tutu. She has, like, rainbow-colored hair in a stupid style. She's actually, on her own planet. Actually, <laughs> the, the, the hair looks like, um, you know Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yeah. The leader of the Chipettes. She, no, her hair is crazier than that, man. <laughs> Her hair's fucking, like, pink and purple and blue and fucking... She's got all kinds of colors in her hair. And she looks like a seen child, yes. Mm. But, like, she's... Oh, my God. Then she's there's also, something else. Then there's also... Grandpa. Grandpa. Who who comes in with about 15 different airplanes attached to his hat. He's, and a lot of medals on his jacket. He's a psychotic survivalist. Yeah, Who got a brilliant idea. What? Lizard tail jerky. Because it's a self-renewing food source. Yes. Because you get a lizard, chop off its tail, you cook the tail, wait a bit, the tail grows back. And so yeah. on and so forth. So, yeah. Suck on that, PETA! <laughs> yeah. He's a... Yeah, he's like, he's an ex-military guy. Like, he's got, like, all kinds of pins and stuff on him. He's really... He's probably, like, the coolest grandpa ever. Because he's 
Tra- he and uh, his son is also a military survivalist. His grandson, yeah, and he's training him in military stuff. Yeah, like how to use guns and see. If- he has a bomb shelter full of guns. Yep. He's like Frank Castle, but seventy. <laughs> and his kid is like his little his little apprentice. His grandson. Yeah. Well, this yeah the kid, the kid is he is he just he he shoots everything without a second thought and is not afraid to blow up a monster, which mm-hmm. I like. <laughs> so a lot of. Not very important shit happened. Oh, the thing gets hit by the li- by the lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah, the satellite gets hit by the, this energy Which lets bolt. them contact, get uh, signals from outer space. Yeah, and then shit starts But they starts don't know that's weird. what it is. Yeah, but so, shit starts getting weird at this well, um, point. Well, the girl, we, we meet the girl. Like, really weird. We, <laughs> we meet uh, Susie, that's the girl's name. Mm-hmm. The bo- kid's name is Sherman. Yeah. We meet Susie's boyfriend, who is a heavy metal awesome guy called O.D. O.D., yes. Uh, he has a wasp t-shirt, spiky leather wristband gauntlet. Yeah, uh, but even even before this though, like the TV turns on, and just the craziest shit starts showing on the TV. We get some, we get some porn. We Mexican get some wrestling. Mexican wrestling. The Mexican wrestling is the first thing. Eventually, we get porn. Mexican wrestling, porn. First, thing. we get the song. I'm a liar, and I'm a cheat. I, I don't know what the name of the song is, but it's by Wasp, who's also in the movie Dungeon Master. Yes. And uh, and we get some, we get? and we, we get, get the lizards. Medusa. We get lizards eventually, just like. But that was that's because that was on the sh- Medusa show. Uh, uh, yeah, but we get to the Medusa show. Eventually. So she goes out. Um, the Susie goes out with Od. Yeah. Um, the mom and dad are going out swinging. Mm-hmm. So the grandpa and uh, Sherman are watching the monster show. Mm-hmm. And but on there, this monster show, there is a woman. But first, there's a funny exchange between he yes. and the he and the moms. What don't you think television some sort of some sort of conspiracy? Oh yes, but but it's good. Horror movies and monster movies are educational. Yes, <laughs> it's like, I love this guy. It's like he knows he understands the values of the what if the what if the what if thing. Life. They're educational, training, they're survival oriented. They're true. And so that was called. No, I think it's called it's called Medusa. Medusa's night horror thought. Medusa's night horror thought. And we have fucking dits. Well, she's like, not dits. Yeah. She's well, she's just kind of be. Right. Pretty dangerous. That's 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 her character. Yeah. Who, if you if you know Elvira, yeah. imagine, imagine her without charm and like half as attractive. Yeah, she she basically yeah she works over here basically like as the hostess of this midnight she, she's show. Like, and she's got massive okay. she's got massive breasts. But she's like a but the rest of her is very skinny. So yeah. she's like yeah. she's a skinny Elvira and it doesn't look right. Yeah, but she's playing Medusa. True. So. Basically, like, yeah, she she hangs out in this, like, on this set. Apparently, for some reason, she has a sarcophagus. Yeah, in a sarcophagus, apparently, but that's that's really weird. (laughs) But that's at the end of, I just, it's not weird, but I wouldn't associate that with Medusa. Yeah, that's... If it was the mummy or Dracula... That's not right. (laughs) That's not what Medusa... Also, why is Medusa on television? Wouldn't that be a horrible idea? But yeah, they they did what they could with their budget. Okay, they had to make her into Medusa. They couldn't turn her into Elvira. <laughs> I don't even think it would have been easier to just not have the fucking rubber snakes and just have her be a vampire. Chick. No, but she wanted to hang out at parties and, and wear the the vampire thing, the, the the Medusa thing. Not, but anyway, <laughs> um, a monster. They they start getting shots of this weird. Uh, Eyeball and teeth and tentacles, like like crafty and horror. Yeah, the monster. majority of the time on this TV, it, it's like the like yeah, it's just like this one eyeball. Sometimes on a chompy mouth, and sometimes a chompy mouth. Yes, and it basically just on TV for a little bit. And at first, people just don't really think much of it. The kid and the grandpa. Fall so asleep first on the couch. victim is the TV repairman. Yes. Well, uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, first it was Grandpa. No, TV Repairman. No, first, first it was Grandpa. No, it was the TV Repairman first. Grandpa. TV he was repairman. in the living room. And then the guy came over there. Right? Well, the TV Repairman was the first victim, but we didn't see him get killed. Oh, yeah, sure, right. Yeah, he sure. was the first victim. It was outside. Yeah. Yeah, it was outside. Because there's yeah. a flash, and then he's gone, there's some slime there. Yeah, yeah. But you're, the, the Grandpa is the first kill we see. Yeah. So he gets picked picked up by the monster, the pincher pincher thing by the head. 
like by the head, like and both it, temples, and then he <laughs> melts into green goo, and his head like collapses out of melting man. Uh, no, he shoves it into his mouth. He eats him, oh, yeah. and then he burps up his clothes, and then, then he, no, he he melts him, and then he eats everything, the slime in the clothes. You can only ingest slime. Yeah, I guess I just blah, blah, blah. and he can't. Uh, it's like how does Brundle fly eat? Yeah. How does Hungry Beast eat? How does Hungry Beast eat? <laughs> I like a T-shirt of, of how does Brundle fly eat? How does Brundle fly eat? <laughs> so he eat, kills him, kills Grandpa. Yeah, and uh, uh, kid's paranoid. Yeah, the kid runs downstairs. He gets grabs guns, guns, calls the cops. Yeah, he um, grabs some grenades even because he sees kid. the monster. Yeah, calls the he calls the cops. The cops don't believe him. Trying to arrest him for well, it's he's technically breaking the law. Uh, well, no, they straight up tell him like, oh, you're uh, you're. Uh, yeah, your Sherman, uh, your Sherman Punder is it Sherman Punderman? Uh, do yeah, you realize what you're the doing? Pundermans, a, by the way, they're, they're do you realize what you're doing is a criminal offense? Yeah, exactly. It's like, do you realize that you could get fucking arrested for this? Because I am almost assured that this has happened before on this planet. <laughs> like in this in this movie in this reality mm-hmm. on this Earth, I feel that this has happened to multiple other people. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, what was I? Th- my brain thinking about what I can't remember. So, oh, if I were in this situation and had to call about a monster, yeah, I wouldn't open with "Hi, there's a monster that's eating people." I'd say, "Hey, um, there's some someone broke into my house. They're armed. I'm, I'm, I'm currently, I, I, I'm like I'm hiding out in the closet right now. They don't know I'm here. Could you please hurt? The address is this. Please come as fast as you can. Yeah, exactly. Because then they take you seriously. Yeah, and, and then, then when you get there and there is a monster. Yeah, they're going to find the monster, not you. You are in the closet. They're going to go get the monster. Because instead of, hey, there's a monster. Ha! No. Although they might die from monster. Yeah, but <laughs> but if you say there's someone who's armed and dangerous, they'll come in. The they'll... cops know that there's monster. But if you yeah. say armed and dangerous, they'll they'll enter dr- uh, guns drawn. Yeah. Well, if you're like the Punisher, burglars are the monsters. <laughs> They're the rapists, bad people. Murderers. R- the rapists, murderers, psychos, sadists. Uh, and by the way, I need to commend you on that. That was a very good speech that you did at the beginning of the Punisher. Oh, thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> I almost cried. It was great. <laughs> so, so um, back to this. Col- and he's hiding out there. The parents get back. Yeah. And it, they, they each picked up someone. Mm-hmm. They, this se- oh, oh my god the, the, the two that they picked up oh my god the yeah, house is by the way the house is going to lay out the house yeah, yeah. there's a there's a hot tub and it's full of um quote unquote, quote unquote erotic art <laughs> but it doesn't do anything for me though but it's a lot of BDSM stuff yeah a lot of stuff is just good. just just pa- so the paintings p- of sex <laughs> the people they pick up are um you you describe them okay so first one is a Greek man called Spiro. Spiro. <laughs> I, 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 I knew this guy's gimmick like basically from the beginning. I'm like looking him up and down. I'm like, they're gonna make him gay <laughs> and Greek. And no, I, I had a feeling he, he just was assumed be ev- either Italian or Greek. I was gonna say though it's when he's first at, he uh, he the architecture. Greek. It's good. And when he, I think the second time he talked about something as being Greek, in a, just uh, using Greek as a catch-all positive term. When they get to the pool room. We'll, uh, we'll the, get to that conversation, the, that conversation. What do they call it? The, the pleasure room. The pleasure dome. The pleasure dome. There we go. The, once they get to and the, then there's the a, a really really hot blonde chick. Oh yeah, she's really good, gorgeous. Like I, I really like this girl. Her girl, bikini too. Quite good looking. Yeah, she takes off at one point she just like straight up like just takes off her shirt and she's got her like dress. this yeah, yeah, or, yeah, she's wearing a dress, right? Yeah, she takes off her dress and it's just bikini just like multicolored, like beautiful looking bikini. And I'm just like, oh my god. So, uh, they, but they come home they, and the kids are like, oh, it's a monster, he ain't grandpa. <laughs> and so, uh, the mother, fucking bitch, locks him in the, like, locks, essentially locks him in the closet. Uh, yeah. It's well, a closet she... with automatic weapons and explosives, but still, it's, you don't. That's fucking child abuse. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, he ends up running into the door, like, screaming at them and stuff, causing a scene. And the parents obviously don't like this because this little child is interrupting their sex time. And then she looks down <laughs> and is like, Grandpa, are you down? If you're too, if you're too uh... Yeah, she takes him all around the house. She sees the... Chicken too. Yeah, she sees, like, puddles yeah. of, like, green, like... Yeah, that's, like, the thing the, he's been eating. 
Yeah, he's basically like vomit. It's or like something. if you looks too, like vomit, she thinks it's vomit. It's like if first. you're too much of a scaredy cat to spend the night alone, just spend the night with grandpa. Not, uh, yeah, drags him down to like drags him downstairs. Essentially, I was like, "Grandpa, are you down there?" And then the, the we see that the aliens made like a tentacle replica of Grandpa. Of Grandpa, I was like, "Yeah, the monster is down able here. to do this." I'm just taking care of business. Yeah, right, like the monster is apparently able to the Change power that it has is like use its tongues basically as a uh, like like the head, basically, the head and shoulders of a it like kills. Yeah, like, it kills people, eats them. You can only make the head and shoulders, though. Yeah, makes the head and the shoulders, like, the form of the head and the shoulders, out of its tongue. And it, it wears... It their voice. Yeah, and it wears the, uh... It wears the, the victim's, like, face, basically, as, like, a mask. And it's able to talk and stuff as them. And it wears, like, its hair and stuff, too. But, like, yeah, it's able to, like, make that. I think sometimes it's able to have the... If it... If it's able to do it fast enough, it's able to have the shirt. Oh, and the creature can beam out of TVs. Yeah. That's how I tell it gets in voice. Yeah, that's how it gets around. I don't think it... Can it move on its own, like, just walk yeah. around? Yeah. I, I don't remember it doing that. Like, well, it's just, it was I just... remember... Or if it did, very few times. Or a very, like, short distance or something. Because it, it ran out of the wall in the climax. Yeah, it's So, and we find out that... Because yeah. he goes to... Um, so they're doing the swinging thing. Mm-hmm. Dude goes to change into a, into a Speedo. Yeah. Oh yeah, this whole time, by the way, yeah. this entire movie, there's a man in, well, like, uh, it looks like when they turn on the TV at Yeah, man points, in a green, in green spiky mask. Yeah, there's a green, like, like a, alien, there's like a green alien, like and straight he's talking. Out of, straight out of original, uh, original series. Yeah, and it's, it looks like, it looks like an old retro looks like a horror s- movie, and that's what everybody thinks it is at first, but it's an actual alien guy talking to the people in the house, sending them a pre-recorded message going, we are so sorry this happened. We're so we sorry. On this planet. Your planet's gonna be destroyed. You, there's this, I, I accidentally a monster into your house. <laughs> sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> I'm so sorry I accidentally a monster into your house. I, I, just be careful of it. Just it, hold on while we deal with the problem. Yes, it will It will eat anything that pisses it off, so do not piss it off. <laughs> um, okay, I will be down there in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> uh, so this we find a- out that Spiro is gay. Yeah. And then everyone... <coughs> and this isn't very... Just all oh. four of them get eaten. Mm-hmm. Um, then he calls Medusa and asks for help. Well, yeah, the little kid is stuck downstairs after this. Yeah. And he, he ends up seeing, uh, because there is a TV in this room, he ends up seeing uh, the Medusa show, and she starts talking about some really crazy things, and yeah. creepy stuff, and at first he thinks, uh, I think he thinks that she knows about the monster. Right, but she doesn't. But she doesn't. She She's just like a normal TV hostess. And, uh, yeah, she hosts this show, and... She she basically tells the kid go the fuck to sleep, mm. but you shouldn't be watching this show because it's got tits in it. Basically, actually, just makes fun of him, and then and then internet and then jump scares. Then there's a like jump scare. Yeah, jump scares him. the kid. It's like now come clo- now sure, come closer. Yeah, closer. She makes him believe that she closer. knows what's going on. Sir, yeah, that close. <laughs> yeah, and then jump scares him, <laughs> and then tells him basically, yeah, go to bed. <laughs> And he ends up like it's yeah. like um exa- example mm-hmm. c- 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 come closer to the t- come pl- closer to the television to the computer screen come on closer right up against it <laughs> and it's like and it's like that screamer video I just made you watch uh, <laughs> so <laughs> this is a good this is a good version of that 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 that's gonna be fun I can't wait to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, after that, fuck, this movie just goes like off the rails so really the, quickly. Then uh, the, oh yeah, OD and the daughter get back. But first we he blows his, um, he uses plastic explosives to blow open the door. Yeah, it's true, he grabs the plastic explosives to get out of there. And uh, he also gr- brings a, a machine gun with him. And, and some yeah, grenades. Yeah, he grabs an assault rifle, some grenades. So they get there, and then they meet the monster! Yep. Uh, and then it turns out that um, the monster relates um, OD's spiked gauntlet to the spiked gauntlet his master used to wear, yeah. so he likes them. Mm. And then it become then this movie briefly turns into ET. 
Yeah. Because they, they teach it about food, they teach it how to say a few words, they show it, they make it listen to music. Yeah. They, they give they him some, like, like, 50s, like, American bandstand stuff, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I like this music. And I was like, oh, man, this is bad music, dude. Don't listen to that. Listen to my band. And there's, like, really, like, loud, heavy metal. I wanna, I wanna and he freaks out. the fuck out and punches the, uh... I want to point out that when, when OD basically, like, first gets, like, introduced... He's essentially Otto from yeah from, yeah from The Simpsons. Sounds and I like just started talking. Yeah, he sounds like Otto, and he looks like Otto if he was a younger kid, like Otto in the eighties. Yeah, basically. Whoa, man! <laughs> I just came into this house, man. There's, There's a monster there. Whoa! <laughs> and then they watch. Um, so he gets he hates the the heavy metal though, and he like, punches a speaker. Yeah, at first, at first he thinks that the monster is into heavy metal too. <laughs> Because he, he's like, he's like, yo, he saw my spikes, man. And he chilled he, out. He chilled out. Yeah, that means he's into metal, man. So he gives everybody, like, little pieces of his outfit. Yeah. And, like, the little, yeah, the little kid Sherman and, uh, and Susie's. Susie words. gets his vest. Sherman yeah, Susie gets some gets bracelets. Yeah. Sherman gets some bracelets, I mean. Mm -hmm. So Sherman has his bulletproof vest. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, basically they're teaching this thing how to... They're teaching about Earth culture. Yeah, about... Yeah, food, music, music, and TV! TV! Uh, and then the TV goes... Oh, yeah, it teaches it their names. Yeah, and then um, the Medu he watches some of the Medusa show, then it finishes, then the monster is like, No, TV! But it, the whole time, the whole time that was on the Medusa show, mm -hmm. he, was a, he was, he was chilled out, as long as Medusa, yeah, like... Or just anything the, on TV. Uh, yeah, but after the Medusa right, show it was ended, commercials. yeah, it was just commercials and stuff and like weird shit. So he didn't really like that all that much. Uh, it was mostly commercials. So stuff. then he eats Otto. Yeah, he eats Otto <laughs> in the fucking funniest way possible too. He like sticks out this like uh, he gets Otto to come like really really close to and him. And then sticks his like hand tongue on his face. Yeah, and just like basically eats his face. Yeah, and it has like really sharp teeth on it, and it's just like ah! they call the cops like, again, but yeah. the cops are like that's it. I'm coming to arrest your ass. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, cops show up and, and it's like, they, yes, Sherman, Sherman they, Punder. They do call, him, she calls Medusa, and is like, hey, you could, because uh, they, they want to make money off the monster. Come, we yeah. could, we have a, the monster's real. It's, we want to see if it's on TV. Yeah. I have parties to go to. We're having a party right here. Oh, okay. I might come over. I, I don't know. I have a lot of, <laughs> I, I have, my life is very busy. I need to first host this show with this Medusa head, and then secondly, go to parties wearing my Medusa head. <laughs> And she never, but she, she changes her clothes in a red dress when she should, but that's in the... Yeah. A uh, cop shows up, eats the cop. Yeah. We do see the, cause they're like, there's a monster, I'm gonna arrest both of you, and then they, the kid throws a Basically, grenade eats, down the hole. He eats he the cop in. almost immediately, though, yeah. like, as soon as he gets into the house. So they're hiding out, <laughs> and, um, they, they see the monster, he's chilling in the jacuzzi. Yeah. Watching, um, so, uh, like this weird flying saucer movie. Yeah, and he's a, loving it. Yeah, like, it was an like old, like, sci-fi. <laughs> he's just, like, making noises. Like, and shit, like, you know, he was just saying, like, TV, 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 <laughs> TV, TV, TV. <laughs> oh, he's having fun. Cool. He's super happy. This is the time of he's, his life. He's stoned. He's in the hot tub. He's chilling, watching some he, TV. He at least got stoned after he ate OD. <laughs> <laughs> OD. He OD'd. On OD. <laughs> Then uh, the then the 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 alien show the spaceman shows up. Is like, yeah. I am Pluton of the planet Pluton. This is his planet, probably. I just realized but that. No, this is probably his. It's planet. not his planet. He works in. He's a fucking garbage man. Hey, maybe he's he's a garbage man. Maybe all he does, maybe like his life is literally owning this planet and shooting garbage off of it. Maybe he owns this planet and just shoots garbage off of it. I'd like a garbage cannon. A garbage I'd like cannon. the rocket launcher from Fallout 3. <laughs> That'd be great. Which I wish was in New Vegas. Yeah. Oh, did you see that there was a mod on Fallout, uh, on Fallout 4 where uh, you can basically have the the the, uh, the fat man shoot out babies <laughs> and explode? Did you know that was a thing? Not important. <laughs> it is actually kind of because it's like it's like the circle of life. In like a in like one moment, it's so, like you have this cat in that shoots a baby, hmm. and then it hits this living being, and then it dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. 
It, uh, he just the, the alien explains that um, yes, yeah. it'll it'll eat and evolve, and I'm just gonna get rid of it. We can clone your parents back, but that in an aquarium. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but it it's called that the, was too funny. It's called the hungry beast. You see, they they were they are actually before they mutate house pets. Yeah. Um, like your Earth dog and Earth cat, which which leads me to assume there are space dog and space cat, space dogs and space cats. As now things a pet. Well, if yes, they're this quite lovable like, before they before they mutate. If this wasn't. Was, what what comparison? What would you compare this thing to if it was an alien? Like a, I mean, a, a an animal we have like on Earth. What would you compare what, the, this thing to? That it once it gets excited, it mutates and eats everything and tries to kill you. No, but like just like eats everything and like is just like in random places. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, my theory is that this is an alien cat. <laughs> so, so once it once a once a Mutate. We have we send them off into space, and they bounce harmlessly yeah. throughout the un- throughout the end of the universe. Yes, and then they fizzle. Out. But accidentally came here, uh, um, and then they tell them, "Well, it's here. It's killed a few people. It's killed people." Uh, the committee is definitely going to yell at me for this. Okay, I can. I, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> I'm going to lose my position on the committee. Yeah. <laughs> so the Medusa shows up. She sees the spaceman aiming. Wait, at there's a committee, so he can't own the planet. No. <laughs> Uh, uh, sees uh, what she sees is a spaceman aiming a gun to the kids. So yeah. She runs up, hits him with a stick, and then his head explodes because she breaks the glass on his helmet. Uh, yeah, she he can't breathe. He can't breathe the air of Earth, so his head explodes like in like in fucking oh my god, like uh, like Total Minority, Recall. Uh, yeah, like Total Recall. <laughs> he just <"Arr!" laughs> so they yell at her, and then the monster bursts through the wall because he's the Kool Aid Man. Yeah, he gets his or, ass into the the it, pleasure dome. He did, he he just rips through the wall, and it's p- take your pick. It's either oh yeah, or snap into a slim jim. <laughs> oh my god! If, what then, if it was Randy Savage as the monster? That would be movie? awesome. <laughs> and then they, they shoot. He teleports through TVs and just. Eats and then people. they shoot the monster, and then it, when we cut to the next morning, and the yeah. guys, is, the drivers, sleep in the car, and then the, we see Medusa there, and she's like, "To the studio." Now, now, now! Ah. And then we see the ah, 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 yeah, and turns right. out it ate all of them. Yep. The end. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'd so like to point wins. out. Yeah, I'd like to point out basically like this picture happens as soon as she shows up. Mm. The picture I pointed for you at the beginning of this shows up as soon as she does. Basically, you are you are Medusa in this case. You get into the place. It you 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 realize that this monster actually sort of kind of likes you a little. It it showed it showed like probably like it it wanted her. It showed definite intrigue in wanting her. Yes. So it gets like after you like after this thing eats you, it is wearing your face. The monster sole purpose its sole purpose in this movie was to get you and steal your job. <laughs> <laughs> they took her job. They took her job. Literally, this alien went. So she actually had her job stolen by an alien. Exactly. Awesome. <laughs> this this movie is an allegory <laughs> for Al Gore. <laughs> for, for first the, emperor of the moon. This has anti-immigration allegories. <laughs> and act, though, in all seriousness, this movie was amazing. Oh my god, this movie was so fun. It's like the visuals in it were great. This uh, spookies. This and spookies and are Phantom on of like, the Opera. Yeah, the like, 1989 one. They're just all. They're all on the same level. They're all on the same shelf. But more. If sp- we had a shelf, it would be like top shelf. Those three movies, like little trophies. But I think uh, <laughs> spookies and this are on in a different subcategory because they seem to just of how much they revel in their stupidity. Yeah. And also how vulgar they get. Yes, and how well these didn't get that vulgar. This fucking did. Mm. This straight up shows. Uh, does it show tits when it shows the porn? No, I don't it think just it show. It manages to show. It's like cine- Skinamax stuff. A little, yeah. It's like light core sort. It's what, it's what you'd see in Max Zim, mm. but as a video. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> does anybody swear? I don't think anybody swears in it. They uh, she calls Medusa a stupid bitch. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh. I think they say, uh, yeah, they say, oh my god. There's also not a lot of gore. Things. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not really gory. It's like it's a green sci-fi slime. Film, so. Yeah, it's a sci-fi film, and it's got the monster eating them. Yeah. It does get pretty graphic though. Like it bites the fucking cop's hand off. Yeah, like me- and melts it. Yeah, it melts his fucking hand off essentially, and then proceeds to eat him. And when when it was eating Grandpa, oh fuck! Also, that so that was that was scary. What would what would you rank this movie? Oh fuck! I loved this movie. This was this is a solid. I'm gonna give it a solid ranking of three Medusa heads out of a total. Yeah, we'll say uh, twenty. Yeah, we'll say twenty autos belts. Twenty of autos belts. <laughs> so he has about ten belts left. <laughs> Give or take 20. <laughs> give or take another 20. He's got a lot of belts on. <laughs> How much would you give it? I'll give it four eyes out of a possible seven tentacles. <laughs> so the anime review. <laughs> no, that would... So that the would hentai be... review. Actually, you know what? I'd like to change my, my score. You can't do that. <laughs> what if it was 20 rat jerky tails? Lizard jerky. Lizard jerky tails. Lizard jerky tails. Lizard jerky tails. <laughs> See you next time! <laughs> Bye guys! Oh no! The monster eaten him!